I believe that making someone smile, making someone whose life is completely different from mine. If someone comes to me and they tell me that their life has changed because seeing our show, then every, it's worth every bruise, it's worth every bump, it's worth every lump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Try to come out and do street shows, and they just think, Oh, that guy's dancing, I can do that. And then they go out there and try to do it, and they don't make no money. The performing makes better because everybody has their own style. Everybody wears different clothes, you know, everybody looks different. The, I mean, like, completely different. So once we put everything together, then then something is like, you know, like people are really started liking it, you know. So that's why I really like my show. I mean, breakdance is my life, so in this moment that I don't work, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't want to work. I just want to dance every day, you know. I trust my friends. I believe them. They're all good, you know, they're all perfect people. <laughs> It's cool being a dancer. I mean, it keeps you in shape. It's fun. You meet other people that do different types of dancing. Um, it's a real good experience. Because I feel that anything you involve putting yourself in at a physical level and sacrificing yourself, you should always be able to relate to the people you're working with as family because you have to depend on them on certain levels to where since you're sacrificing your life and putting other things aside to do this thing with them, they have to have that understanding. So basically, we all have to see ourselves as brothers. <laughs> But it's been days where, before when I first got out here, all my money that I made was for me to go to a hotel. So if, say for instance, you make $100, then $80 go to a hotel, and then $10 you use to eat, and then I smoke too. So then $10 to smoke. That, that's one day, that's all your money gone. And then the next morning you gotta check out the hotel at 11 o'clock, go down to the beach, and then don't nobody show up. And I got a sound system and radio and buckets and book bag and clothes. And now I gotta go sleep on the beach behind the graffiti wall. And I can't even miss it. Are you seeing Candy Man? It's always a selfish thing. It's always about himself. That's why I don't like him, because it's like we're a team. 
That was Candy. Hey yo, we don't have this stock before. We supposed to start now. Come on. Taking a sweet ass time. We'll be on time. When I called you, it was two o'clock. I said I'm at the spot, waiting on y'all. No, because you get not to him and him because of the leg. Yesterday, you don't was here to see. Where we some on time? Now we got job because you don't was here. Now it's just yeah. in Thailand. Can you, you guys come here? We call you guys at 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Nobody okay. pick up the phone. I was supposed to do a show yesterday, and my ride, I had a mishap with my ride, so I couldn't get there on time. I didn't actually get there. But so now they're using that as a reason to say, okay, well, you didn't do the show yesterday, and we're late today, so don't get mad at us because we're late. But it's still, it's still money, it's still business. There was a white, there was a there was a there was a there was a white phantom right in front in the front. Why did you lie to us? All right. Okay. Just like it's your group, right? And just like uh, you're the leader, right? And now you want to turn around? Oh my God! If anyone tells you that a group, when they perform, that it's that it's all peaches and cream, they're lying to you. Yesterday you supposed to hey. When you get your camera, you like can you stop? Actually, what I can say, what we love and what we do right now, we covered all this problem already. So I know this that you know we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it right. Everything already, so we know that. But I mean, definitely, and you guys seen that too. Maybe you know we got some, you know, yeah. Some Mexicans, some Hispanic guys, I guess they were gangbangers. They assumed that we were gangbangers. And uh, they tried to jump on us and uh, rob us. You know, I had all the stuff in my hands, so, you know, I was real vulnerable at the time. You know, me being the focus on all that other stuff, I ended up getting hit with a cinder block, which I stood up. It didn't knock me down. I stood up, broke, broke it on my head like this. I just got a little scratch. Excuse the, excuse the bandages. You my mama and mama for everybody. Yeah, I know you the I have plenty of sons. I, I only had one, but I got about 15. <laughs> Remember this face? Because <clears throat> this is going to be the last time it looks like this. I'm trying to mess with my face again. Let me talk to my lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you know who my lawyer is, right? <laughs> my man Sydney right here. <laughs> That's right. Really? And y'all, I just, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much, yo. We from Chicago and different parts of the world. Don't you sound like a plan. I thank you for uh, considering us. All right, bye-bye. Yeah! We on TV. Huh. Yeah. We on TV. Oh. 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 We on TV. Oh, 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 we
I feel good. I'm just uh, excited. I'm glad that we got here safely. And now I'm ready to do the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I see that. I feel oh, great. Man. I'm excited. Style bros all day. Yeah. My name is Sydney Psycho Sid Tobert. <laughs>